Good morning everybody and welcome back to another video. I am Mum and today I thought I'd take a crack at our one day make where I'm going to try and make a dress or gown of some sort to fit my mannequin Sergeant Ferret. If you want to know why he's called Sergeant Ferret, there's a movie starring Kate Winslet called The Dressmaker and then you'll understand. So in preparation because one day makes take more than a day is I went through my sewing stash and got out everything I thought I'd need. So I've got my fabric, colour matched my thread as best I could, hand sewing needles, thimbles, you know, scissors, all the things I think I'd need to make it. So I think we'll start with draping on the mannequin and also I'm wearing a massive jersey because it's 12 degrees Celsius or 53 degrees Fahrenheit, wherever you are, um, and I'm cold. So, let's get cracking. So draping, I'm only going to drape the top half, and I think the bottom I'll just use whatever fabric is left and gather it in to make a really, you know, swooshy, flowy type skirt. So. So this is a fabric I dug out of my stash. I'm going to use it for draping. Also, there is two chunks, so I figured if the draping's good enough, I can either use that for the lining as well, or I have another bit for the lining. So I think I'll jump into time-lapse mode and um, see where we end up. Hi everybody, voiceover mum here. So. I will no longer be using music in any of my videos because the app that I use to edit my videos has a music library and they say they're copyright free however they only lease the music from the artist so after their five or so years or whatever are up then the artist usually sells their music to the YouTube library because they offer more money and then YouTube's algorithm checks every video to see whether that music's been used anywhere else and then all of the videos that have been made with the app using that music gets copyright striked and I've had so many copyright strikes. So as a small channel I can't really afford a subscription to Epidemic Sound for what $15 a month me making maybe a couple of videos a month is too much money so It'll be rain sound effects from now on. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone through and pinned marked seams. You might not be able to see it very well, but what I'm kind of going for is a strapless um I think this is called princess seaming. I'm not 100% sure. I am self-taught, so bear with me, please. And I've done one half of the mannequin because, well, it's symmetrical, so I only need to pattern out one half. I just need to draw the waist in, and I think I'm going to go probably maybe an inch or two below where I have the waist marked out. I did try to see if the booby cups would fit on this, but they don't because Sergeant Farad's boobs are too big and he's padded out to fit, be the same size as my brother's girlfriend. I just need to adjust the height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off the mannequin and fix up my lines and separate the pieces and then get out the actual fabric we're going to use. But here we are off the mannequin. I'm just going to go through, straighten up my lines and then cut the pattern pieces out and label them. So. Okay, so I've got all my lines straightened up, so now what I'm going to do is cut everything out 
um, and then trace the pattern pieces onto some lining fabric and then get out the fashion fabric and create um, cut out the um, pattern pieces as well Okay, I have all of my pieces marked and on lining and now this is what I have chosen for my fabric fas fashion fabric. It is most likely 100% polyester, this isn't real silk. Lord knows with four kids I can't afford real silk. There's quite a lot here. I think there's about eight or so meters. I bought it off Trade Me, which is like a Kiwi eBay type thing. So I'm going to cut pieces of the bodice out of this. And then start sewing the lining and sewing the fashion fabric together. So today we're using the 1937 Singer treadle machine and I'm going to start sewing all the pieces, I'll sew the lining together, then I'll sew the fashion fabric together and then attach the lining and the outer together. Now this is the thread that I have chosen. It matches for the most part so I'm gonna thread this up jump into time-lapse and then we'll get started stitching it together Okay, so I have the lining all stitched together, fashion fabric all stitched together. I'm going to go and press these seams and then um, sew them together. And So I have ironed all my seams, as Gunnar would say, nice and flat and beautiful. And now I'm going to pin the lining bodice and the fashion fabric bodice right sides together and then stitch along the top and down the sides but leaving the bottom edge open because that's where I will attach the skirt. Okay, I have the entire thing pinned, pouring down with rain. Um, Alexa, what's the time? 
It's 12.25 p.m. Okay, so we're halfway-ish through the day. And so I'm going to sew along this side edge and along this top edge. And then um, clip my curves, flip it out the right way and press it on the iron. So we're going to go over to sew machine. officially hate this thread. It is not the same as the bobbin thread and it keeps snapping so I don't think it's strong enough for this machine. However, I will persevere. I'm halfway through and then from then on I will endeavour to hand stitch. So I have all my seams clipped so that we can flip it right side out and press it so that our curves can lay nice and flat and straight. Okay, you can see we've got some Gapping here that shouldn't be there. So I think what I'm going to do is might have to, yeah, I'm going to have to clip it out. Doing this. Other than that, I think that it fits him. just need to fix that but for now I think I'll get started on the skirt so what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to measure from about here to the floor see how long that is and then see how long we need to make our skirt right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this off the mannequin turn it inside out and sew down these seams get rid of these little booby horns and then I'm going to gather all of this it's still going hold on all of this into this waistband and that's that weight will pull all these seams nice and taut Okay, so I have sewn it together and trimmed it off camera because I got a phone call. So now I'm going to take the bodice off the mannequin and fix the booby bits by hand, I think. So. Let's do that. Okay. So I fixed this by sewing down the booby horns so they will sit more snugly and I've sewn this into a tube off camera and now I'm going to gather all of this into the waistband, pin it in and hand stitch it in.
Okay, so I have the entire waistband gathered and I have the waistband pinned to the bodice silk but not the lining because I'll fold the lining over like this and I'll use it to cover the raw edge. Oh, also, Alexa, what's the time? The time is 2.02 p.m. So two in the afternoon, we're making okay time. Okay, so I've got it stitched in. I'm going to finish folding the lining over to cover the seam off camera. And um, I'll come back and show you when I'm done. Okay, I had a break. I've come back. And I have folded over... I have folded over the lining and pinned it down so I can stitch it and that's hiding all of the fluffy raw seams from the bodice. I'm going to get it all stitched together, put it on the mannequin and see where we need to go from there. Okay, it's all stitched together. I'm not gonna hem it today. I just I just honestly can't be asked and it's cold. And I want to go to where the heat is actually reading the house. So I've got it all stitched in. I'm gonna turn it right way out and put it on the mannequin. Now I've raised raised him up quite high just so that we can get the illusion of a fully hemmed dress gown thing. It is by no means perfect. It is okay. Here it is, all finished. It's really long. It kind of puddles on the floor. It's um a bit bulky around his hips, but um I think with time and hanging and proper pressing, it'll um. It'll settle on any fine finishing on the seams and any decoration will be done just on a different day. And I put some kind of closures on the back. But yeah, that's my one day make. Alexa, what's the time? It's 3.34 p.m. 3.34 p.m. and we started at roughly nine ish so thank you for watching like comment subscribe share that's what helps us out the most is a very small channel to help us grow um we have a playlist called every video we've ever made which is every video we've ever made so if you want to put that on in the background and then leave it running that'll really help us out and um we'll see you in another video bye